Mackenzie Meadows Golf Tips on Shaw TV with CPGA golf professional Scott Orban and professional golf student Kevin Stobo. Welcome once again to another edition of Mackenzie Meadows Golf Tips. We're at the serene and beautiful Mackenzie Meadows once again with Scott Orban. Scotty, you're going to do a tip tailor-made for me right now. It's about damn time. Yeah, well, Bearcat Murray got this club made for you because we know you got some problems with the flipping, so... This looks like some kind of baton or something. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? So what, 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 how does this help me? Well, Kevin, just slide over a little what? bit, would you? Don't just, touch just, me. All right, just, just get out of the way. <laughs> Give me the stage. What am I doing, Scotty? You know I, you know I tend to skull my wedges. Well, we, yeah, we've got a little wedge shot here. And Kevin, what, what you tend to do through impact is you, you flip your hands at it. Right. Okay, right. so I call that the flip. So look at my, my left wrist here. Through impact, your wrist goes this direction instead of just staying stable through the shot. Okay. Now I want, want you to watch the club head. When I, when I just turn the wrist up like that, my club comes about a foot off the ground. And this is where most golfers have a problem with the wedge shot. The, their hands are overactive. You know, a lot of times they'll try and keep their body still. They think if they stay really still and then they start to just rip at it with their hands. You have a, problem, you have yeah. a little bit of that in you. You're not, that. you're not that much of an amateur. So what we need to do is we need to find a way to stabilize the swing through impact, okay? So we got the baton, as okay. you called it. All right, I call it a hockey stick, but we're going to grip it on this side. So this, this is here. If you go to slap at this, all right, it's going to give you a shot on the side. Right, right. All right, so we usually use this for chipping, but you can use it to emphasize this drill. So you swing back, swing through. So it really gets me turning my body and holding that position instead of trying to flip my wrist at it. You give it a try, Kevin. And by doing that, now your depth of your swing gets better and better. And you can see now you're starting to just slap the ground. Good with every swing. Go ahead and hit a shot with that just for fun. Swing it back, turn through, and away it goes. All right? So that helps you with that depth of your swing. Right. So now the hard part, you got to do it with this club. Hard. Okay. That wasn't the hard that part. That was the hard part. So getting throttled in the ribs. So try to okay. simulate that same feel. Beautiful. Oh, I feel it, Scotty. Beautiful. So if oh, you're if you're good. at home and you're saying, well, I don't have this hockey stick in my repertoire, right. what you can do is you take take your club, get a piece of wood dowel or something, extend your club, put a little tape there. You got yourself. The bear, a little training tool. Bearcat Murray, I'm going to call it's this a little one. bit, no, not too far. All right, that's it for another edition of Mackenzie Meadows Golf Tips. Thanks, guys. Oh, it's about a half a foot. <laughs>